The Saskatchewan Association of Rehabilitation Centres, SARC, is a non-profit provincial association of over 70 community agencies working together to provide a variety of programs and services for persons with disabilities. Over 5,900 Saskatchewan citizens with disabilities receive services from SARC members. From larger agencies like the Saskatchewan Abilities Council in Saskatoon, Regina, Yorkton and Swift Current, to smaller agencies like Mallard Diversified Services in Wadena, SARC members are an integral part of their communities. In keeping with SARC's mission of assisting members in their goal of quality services, the Saskatchewan Association of Rehabilitation Centres offers a variety of supports. The SARC as a provincial agency provides information and assistance in, in a number of areas. Some of those areas are programs such as volunteer standards and accreditation, policy development, marketing products manufactured by members, education and training for frontline staff, also for board and management, and these opportunities are provided through uh, provincial conferences and in some cases are provided at the site of the member agency. Other su supports include things like management of employee benefits program, labour relations, and the key one is the lobbying the provincial government for funding so that members may operate their programs. SARC members provide a wide range of services to persons with disabilities, including developmental activity, life and social skills, employment training and support, work skills training and experience, group home residential services and independent living support. Agencies work to encourage individuals to make choices for themselves. You know, if people want to live on their own or, or how to manage, th manage themselves and you know, the uh, goal of SARC members is uh, to support, to empower uh, individuals with disabilities and to help them to develop as an independent lifestyle as possible. And that's why you see such a variety and array of programs and services offered across the province. Now SARC and, and our members are extremely committed to pursuing this excellence in community services for the citizens with disabilities. The Saskatchewan Association of Rehabilitation Centres members provide direct services to individuals. While SARC can assist by supplying the names of agencies and contacts at each of their locations across the province. The access process in SARC agencies varies depending upon the services that are offered and the supports that are available in those particular communities. Chippendale serves 29 individuals in eight homes. All admissions go through a single point of entry, which is the co-management committee. That's a group of all the residential services in the city of Regina. People uh, find out about the services basically through the social worker or through uh, community programs. The criteria used to select a service for the person once the assessment is completed by the co-management committee is uh, basically what facility or what organization would best meet that person's needs. We've been lucky and they've been through a lot with Brent growing up in that house. But now he he loves going home. In fact he gets tired at night he'll say home Langley or bed now, work tomorrow uh, and then he'll say the names of the guys at the house and uh, he's, he's quite happy to go home and and we feel really lucky. The family responsibilities when they're coming into agency such as ours is to uh, basically assist with the setting up of the person's personal space so uh, decorating rooms, buying bedroom furniture and those kinds of things. The agency's responsibility in placement is to basically do the assessment, determine what the person's needs are and then develop a personal programming plan that will meet that person's needs. Um, the majority of the individuals who live within our agency attend the Cosmo Learning Center. Uh, one of the things I like about the Cosmos for Brent is that when he's in the support of employment through Chippendale, it's more intensive and it's one-on-one -on -one and when he comes back here, he has to function in a larger group too, which is, is good. Assisting individuals with disabilities to develop as independent a lifestyle as possible means providing opportunities for individual growth and development and require services that are effective, responsive, and responsible. There are both opportunities and challenges to be experienced. We serve a wide variety of individuals uh, here at the Centre. Um, many of the individuals that come to the Centre have multiple disabilities. Um, that would include uh, such, such things as autism, uh, epilepsy, Down syndrome, 
those kinds of things. Um, some of the individuals are very uh, limited in their mobility, uh, so it presents a lot of challenges in terms of um, providing services for them. Brent is involved in a wide variety of activities when he comes uh, to Cosmo. Uh, he takes part in exercise programs and arts and crafts projects. He takes part in vacuuming, sweeping, uh, domestic type duties. Um, Brent also uh, delivers meals on wheels to seniors uh, every week. We try to help the individual uh, set their own goals and objectives and we try to help them meet those goals, uh, help them to develop skills and uh, learn new things. A city like Regina or Saskatoon may have a number of support services available for persons with disabilities. But what options are available for the individual that does not live in a city? SARC members are located in every city across the province, as well as over 30 rural communities. From Maple Creek and Lloydminster in the west, to Langenberg and Musimin in the east, LaRange in the north, and Redverse in the south, SARC members provide quality services across Saskatchewan. Mackenzie Society provides both residential and vocational programs to the individuals that we serve. Residentially, we are able to provide group home supports in that we operate and own three group homes within Priestville and Sturgis. We also provide an independent living program for nine individuals within the community. An individual accesses the services through our Admission and Discharge Committee. Mackenzie Society's admission process differs from an urban setting in that as an individual agency we are solely responsible for considering the application. Some of the uh, challenges that Mackenzie Society faces in being a rural agency is mainly transportation. Uh, we are far away from everything and as services become more centralized we are required to travel more. We're over an hour away to Yorkton which is our nearest city or to Saskatoon or Regina which is a considerable distance for us three hours each way. The thing that's really great about living in a small town is that the individuals that we serve are well known here. They uh, just fit right into the community, they become simply part of the community. Often, SARC agencies in rural communities need to provide a broad range of assistance to the individuals because they may be the only source of support in the community. Services offered can vary from recreational and developmental activities to work experience and independent living programs. I do the independent living program with nine clients and my role is to help them to do their day-to-day -day living skills, to do their shopping and their budgeting and their laundry and keep their houses and residences in reasonably hygienic and clean condition. Donna's learning to read and we also have circles and life skills classes. They never cease to amaze me because they are capable of doing a lot of things that we don't think they can do. During the day, Monday to Friday, the clients are at the centre. They're doing their vocational program over there. And on weekends, we go on outings to town events and we go to Pine Cree and swimming and just recreational things. And sometimes we just sit around and watch movies, just kind of relax. One of the things that I really value about there being an agency here in Shaunavon and in other communities across Saskatchewan is the fact that that people with disabilities don't have to grow up and necessarily move away from their community they can they can take part in services right here and be a part of of their own community and and live and work here just like anyone else Trevor takes part in what's called an individual program plan and that program plan ensures not only that his service needs are being met but also that his spiritual and cultural needs are being met. Trevor does have choices and opportunities to make choices about the way that, that he lives. But I do think that funding could be a problem in terms of sustainability of the programs that he receives here. And there's always lobbying that's going on to try and improve and increase the funding. I feel really fortunate being on the board because I'm a parent. I was on the local agency board and I let my name stand for nomination. I was, in, I was interested in getting involved at a provincial level and making a difference for people like my son. And it's been a very fulfilling experience for me, a very satisfying experience because I've seen a maturity and a growth in 
in the development of SARC over the years and in the development of services for people with disabilities. The Saskatchewan Association of Rehabilitation Centres and its member agencies work together to make a positive difference in people's lives. SARC members continually strive to meet both their participants' needs and the community needs. SARCAM, the recycling division of the association, in partnership with member agencies, was created to serve not only the employment needs of individuals with disabilities, but the environmental needs of the communities as well. SARCAN works actively on the behalf of SARC members. SARC members are true entrepreneurs. Restaurants, catering, bowling alleys, mini golf, campgrounds, laundromats, service stations, and more. The range of businesses operated by members across the province reflects its entrepreneurship well. Supported employment, which is paid employment at a rate equal to or above minimum wage, is a fast-growing initiative that many SARC members provide. Supported employment includes job placement, job coaching, and follow-up support to the individuals working. SARC members ensure that the rights and dignity of individuals are valued. This includes an awareness of cultural and religious backgrounds and differences as well. Our current cultural makeup is, uh, is probably very reflective of our, uh, of our region and, uh, and our community. Uh, we have uh, a number of First Nations people that uh, participate in the programs here. You know, we're uh, uh, fortunate in that we have a very progressive uh, group of people that uh, run the Metal Lake Tribal Council and uh, there are nine bands associated uh, with the uh, Tribal Council in the region and uh, they've been uh, very good and, and, and very uh, uh, open to, uh, to working with us. Uh, we've, we've also been able to years establish a relationship with the uh, Meiji Society in town. Uh, they have uh, in the past uh, uh, assisted us with uh, some employment situations and uh, have, have uh, uh, helped us jointly fund a, uh, a paper shredding uh, enterprise. Because we're a smaller community, uh, MultiWorks provides the full range of, uh, of services to our participants. We, uh, we provide uh, residential service, we provide independent living service, we provide an employment service, and uh, in addition to the activity center where we do uh, uh, independent living skills training and, and, uh, and life skills training, and we also have the workshop. Because I think it's, it's, uh, it's a real asset to the community and to the people. From supported employment to supportive living programs, the variety of services offered by SARC members supports a diversity of individuals. Providing choices and opportunities is a common goal across SARC agencies. There are a number of processes used to work with individuals in assisting them with planning and decision making. One such process is the PATH program. PATHs are planning alternative tomorrows with hope and um, basically we start off with uh, the individuals stating all their dreams and everything that they want to accomplish in the future. And we, we talk about who we need to enlist to help this happen. And we talk about the way things are now and how we can change them towards her goals or his goals. Play a guitar. And go to Ontario. And Go golfing. When we talk about the past, we talk about things that are possible and positive for the future. The person's kind of the center of the path. They're right involved with the planning and have a choice in the decisions being made. SARC members assist and support individuals with disabilities by providing opportunities. The individuals take up the challenge and learn to develop more inclusive lives within their communities. Often there are outstanding efforts towards personal growth to be recognized and celebrated. Achievements in community involvement, life skills enhancement, transition to employment, and in moves to independent living. I was pretty nearly in tears when I heard about the award and that I really didn't know how my future would take me to if I hadn't received the award. And now my goal is to keep driving until I can get higher up. Saskatchewan Association of Rehabilitation Centres. The people matter. The work matters.